Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today I'm participating in another challenge or a collaboration. This one is hosted by Denise Jordan over at This and That with Denise Jordan. Feel free to check out her channel, which is linked below. And if you'd like to see any of the participants' um, projects, the link to the playlist is also below in the description box. So I just want to start out by showing some of the items that I'm using to complete this challenge. This is the winter vignette challenge, which was supposed to feature a soup terrine. And this one I purchased at the Goodwill for $3. Um, one of the requirements was also that there be words involved and this soup terrine already has words on it. So it was the perfect choice. It has different seasonings featured like sage and rosemary and parsley, wild watercress, different things like that. So I think this qualifies as a soup terrine being that it has these handles here and it and this plate was also part of it. So the plate has the same herbs on it with the words. And it had to be on a tray. So I'm using this picture frame that I also purchased at the Goodwill. This was 50 cents but it has this nice tray-like feel because it has the indent here. So I'm gonna paint this over using this paint here that I purchased at Walmart. This is white chalk paint in, um, from Waverly. And my plan is to do this project in a farmhouse style. So in order to create that distressed look, I used this rich espresso metallic paint and I just put a little bit on the paper towel and as you see, I'm just buffing it over. So it has that shiny metallic look to it, but it also gives the distressed feel that I was going for. And then I drew some lines with a pencil and covered it with the paint. And the idea was to try to make it look like wood panels. And so I have these two things that also from the Goodwill. These were two dollars. This I'm probably going to paint this to be more of a white tone to match with the tray. So here I'm taking a, just a little bit of the white paint on the brush and then I'm basically dry brushing it across the pot so it looks kind of whitewashed without covering it completely white. And now I'm adding a bit of glue inside where the stem is held. This is just to stabilize it a little bit. You can kind of see it has moss underneath, but I'm gonna replace these two with styrofoam balls. I painted the foam with this green paint because I knew there would be some see-through places through the moss and I didn't want any of the white to show through. And then on the styrofoam balls, I'm gonna put this moss from the Dollar Tree.
and then I'm gonna replace the moss that's already in here. And then I'm going to use this twine probably to wrap around here and give it a little bit of a farmhouse detail.